Emily Lamb with Canis Outdoors today. I am on the shores of the beautiful Little Red Deer River and I thought this would be an ideal chance to talk to you about day packs. So this is the day pack that I use. I'm not going to preach to you about any sort of type, fanny packs, backpacks. It all depends on what you're doing. Um, this is just a simple over the shoulder pack. Uh, the reason being I like to be able to walk and reach in and get stuff. It's got a few kind of features. You can buckle it shut. It's got a couple compartments. It has a nice little compartment in the back where you can put smaller stuff. Super simple bag. I'm gonna go over the basics of day packs with you guys so that you can be prepared for any outdoor adventure. So the first thing I'd like to go over with you guys regarding a day pack is things that we need to have. So there's a lot of things in this day pack today that I'm not necessarily needing, but I'm not a real big hiker. I wasn't going very far. This is a pretty full heavy pack. It's got a lot of stuff that's not necessary. So first we'll go over kind of what you need. Then we'll go over some things that I just kind of brought for recreation. It's really important, obviously, to remember any sort of medications, glasses, um, things that you would be in trouble without. Well, always food and water, so I always have my water bottle. Today I have brought jerky because you don't have to worry about the temperature or squishing it. And delicious mangoes for the same reason. Mosquito spray and sunscreen for obvious reasons. Um, these are really easy to get in small packs at the drugstore or at Walmart in the travel section. Um, and it cuts down in our weight a little bit. Things like flashlights, knives, it's always really good essentials to have. I always carry gloves and extra socks. If you had a mother or a grandmother that told you never leave the house without extra socks, she was right. We need our emergency kit. I'm gonna go into this a little bit later. Since I'm always traveling with the dogs, um, I always have cable cutters, stuff like that in my day pack as well because I am recreating on Crown Land where other users might be uh, utilizing that land. So every outdoor bag that I make or every day pack that I make, I always make sure I have an emergency kit in it. Um, these are just extra little baggies that I got from a makeup subscription. They don't cost anything. Um, really a lot of what's in this kit was pretty minimal to put together. And there was not a lot of cost involved. So anybody could put something together like this. One thing that I always have is fire starter, which for me, I use Vaseline and cotton balls. I always have that. I always put them in pill bottles. Again, it's an easy container. Um, I have low dose aspirin because I always carry the dogs with me. I have dog bandage or self adhesive bandage because it's extremely useful to have, not having to worry about tape and stuff like that in the bush. Um, I have things like hand warmers, Reactin, lip chaps, lotions, anything that if I were in the bush and I was starting to get uncomfortable, I would wanna have. I always bring a Sharpie in case I ever needed to leave a note for somebody about where I was going. I'm on the river today, so I'm always looking for something, whether it's fishing, whether it's scouting for hunting, or whether it's foraging. I like to carry things for reference because I'm lazy and sometimes I like to sit and read instead of looking for things. So this is a book I just picked up that's been really useful for me about foraging. So I brought that out with me today. I always carry smaller tackle boxes for whatever I'm targeting. Um, this is my fly fishing box. It's just got a few flies in there, some basic equipment. I have a measure, I have some floats in here. Um, I have my pliers. So all the types of things I would need for just kind of a small fun fishing trip, nothing real hardcore. Um, two very important things that I bring always are my sport fishing regulations. Um, I am your classic millennial that relies on my phone to look up everything and I have been in so many situations where I'm out of service and I can't look up the regs and it ruins my day for fishing. With that in mind, I'm always also taking hunting licenses. This is my hunting licenses, fishing licenses, all that stuff in this kind of nice little waterproof thing. Um, I always bring an all-weather notebook just in case the creative juices flow. When you 
can have multi-purpose items. You can cut down on your weight. Um, so I'm talking about certain things like this. So this is, like I said, kind of a flimsy bag that I got for free from somewhere. It holds my emergency kit and it's also reflective. If I needed to use it to signal someone in a bind, I probably could. Um, I always carry these cheap little fireworks. Reason being, um, if you can't find a bear banger or maybe you run out, uh, this is a really good tool to use to kind of just use sound to intimidate an animal away. Also, it's a multi-purpose tool in that if I was lost and I needed to signal to somebody, if I always have a bunch of these and a lighter in my pack, um, I can have a pretty good signal device if any of my other signal devices fail. So as you can see, I have a relatively small, simple pack that I've fit a myriad of items right. into. Make it as big or as little as you want. It's all about your experience outdoors. Whatever makes you comfortable. And we'll see you outside.